Hey guys, it's Martin from Yes, I'm a Designer. Let me show you today a cool new feature in Photoshop CC 2019. So this is about the Content Aware Feel feature, which if I remember correctly was introduced in Photoshop CS4, but now in this new version, we got a whole new workspace for the Content Aware Feel. So let me show you how it works. Normally what you need to do to start your content aware fill, replacing unwanted details, is to make a selection. So I'm going to use the lasso tool and just very quickly, roughly, make a selection of this area here. So all of this I would like to remove and I would like to keep the right side of this image empty. So if I go to the edit menu, the feature has now a separate option so you don't have to go through the fill, which is here you can directly access content aware feel, which is quite handy. And you can, of course, assign a shortcut to it as well if you want. If I click on this, this will open up this completely new workspace. So think of like the liquify tool or the select and mask workspace. Now this feature has its own workspace as well. And there's two views that we get here. We have the image on the left, which will show us what is going to be sampled for the replacement and on the right side we can see the result. We also have a zoom option here at the bottom and of course we can pan around and move the image or the preview window. But what you will see straight away, in, and this is something that we have usually an issue with, is that we get the automatic fill, this content aware fill, filling in details that are not necessary or something that we don't want to duplicate. In this case, it used some details from the building, this barn, and it replicated it here on the right. So the area that I wanted to keep clean is actually not clean because of that. Now what you can do is to use this window here on the left side, in which you can still zoom in and out. I'm using Control minus or Command minus to zoom out and Spacebar to pan around. So I can still use this window to change the sampling area. All we have to do is to switch to this tool, the Sampling Brush tool. B is the shortcut for it. And this tool works like any other brush. So you can increase, decrease the diameter with Control, Option held down together on the keyboard or square brackets as well you can use. Or of course you can use this size uh, option here on the top. And notice that we have plus and minus. So you can use the plus version with which you would be able to extend the sampling area. So like this section here, I can extend if I wanted to. But what's more important is that we can use the subtract mode, which will take away from the sampling area. Now keep an eye on both sides. I'm going to paint over the barn. And once I let go, look at the right side as the content that we feel immediately updates and now we don't see any barn showing up in the replacement area. We can turn on scale and scale will help to identify details that are further in the distance or closer to us. And based on that, it's going to refine the sampling. So you can already see that in the background, now we have not the details from the very foreground, but they look more like in a, in a distance. So it adds a perspective to the sampling resizing the sampled areas uh, whenever they are used further in the distance. That's really smart. We can also turn on mirror if we feel like some details in the sampling would work better reflected. And as you can see that in this case helped to keep the edge straight. And then we also have two features, the color adaptation, which was available before as well. This is used by default, but you can increase its amount. So sometimes that can help to blend details together, especially if you have things that needs to go on uh, like a strong color background. But what's completely new is a feature called rotation adaption, which can help if you want your sampling to be rotating and following the direction of a certain detail. Now in this case, that's not really necessary. I'll just show you if I set it to full, uh, we can see it's in full intensity. It tries to follow angles here as well, but I feel like without it, in this case, it created a better result. 
Now I could go on and refine the sampling area to get an even better result, but I think we can already see that with a little bit of help from the user, the content aware field now works more, much more efficiently and creates better results. So one last thing I wanted to mention is that, which I really uh, find useful, that you can also decide what you want to do with the result. So what you achieved can be used on the current layer, meaning that it's going to be a destructive change on the selected layer, or it can be created on a new layer, or it can also duplicate the whole layer and then have the result on the new layer while still keeping the original layer underneath. I prefer the new layer option and that's the default. So let's see what happens if I click OK. As you can see, we still see the selection, but I just remove that command or control D. And then we have a separate layer for the result. Now I'm not saying this is a perfect result, but definitely much better than without these new options for editing the sampling area. I hope you found this video useful and if you are interested about the new features released in Creative Cloud 2019, make sure you check back on our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.